Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to create Tumblr campaigns using the Socio Publisher feature of Socinator. After opening Socinator, make sure Social is selected near the upper right corner of the app. Next, let's click Socio Publisher to bring us to the publisher page over here. Let's click Create Campaign. Here, we can assign a unique campaign name or just go with a campaign ID. Under Post Manager, we have the option to create post. This Socinator feature helps to automate creating single and multiple posts on Socinator. To create a single post, select this one. So enter your post description over here. Let's say happy. Under media, you can click the media button to load images or videos. Let's say this one for example and click open and it's automatically uploaded click the settings button to configure individual post settings this will open the post settings dialog box let's click tumblr check this box to tag users on your tumblr post simply type their usernames here and they will be tagged on your post when you're done click the save button over here so you can enter the post title here and the source URL. If you check Enable Facebook Sell Post, Socinator will enable the Facebook Sell Post for selling stuff over groups. So you can specify what you're selling as well as the number and the location. So those are the options for creating a single post. You may also create multiple posts by clicking this. So if the multiple post button is clicked, Socinator will perform action of displaying a modal window on screen to set multiple posts. So click create post, write what's on your mind, let's say happy again, import media if you want, let's upload the same picture, click open, and settings, it's up to you, click save when you're done, specify the post title as well as the source URL, and click enable Facebook cell post if you want. You may also import from CSV by clicking this button. Select the right file and click open. You may also delete everything by clicking the delete all button over here and it's gone. So that's the multiple post button. We also have another import from CSV button here. So if you want to import from CSV, click that button, select the right file and click open. Finally, you have a create a multiple image post. If this option is selected, Socinator will perform action of enabling access to create multiple image posts with web search URLs. So you can use file name as post description or you may upload your own post description. Click that button and select the right file then click open. Check this box if you want Socinator to perform action of adding only unique posts. You may also upload from URL so using this option Socinator will perform action of loading images from web URLs. So we need a specific URL, let's say this one, copy the URL, paste it, and then click the magnifying glass button over here or the search button, and it will automatically load images from the URL that we have posted. So this is the first image, click the next one and it will load the second image. So you may save to draft post list or save to pending post list. And that's it for create post, let's go to share post. Here we can share posts from custom posts list if we check this box. Type the custom post list here. Next we have RSS feed. So in this section, Socinator will allow to create posts with RSS feed and post the same to assign destinations. So feed URL details will allow to enter the feed URLs for extracting the feed details and post the same to the assigned destinations. Post description will allow to automatically generate the feed descriptions from the given feed URL. So we have feed title, feed description, feed URL, feed published date. Under media, click the button to select an image or a video and click open and it will be uploaded. Click the settings button to configure individual post settings according to different networks. Then you may type your post title and source URL here and check this box if you want to enable Facebook cell post. So let's just enter an example URL. Let's say this is the URL. When you're done, click the save feed URL button. 
and Sociinator will save all existing posts to feed URL details over here. So you may edit the feed URL details by clicking this button. You may also delete the feed URL details by clicking this button and it's gone. The monitor folder will allow you to specify the folder path. Click the folder button over here and let's select desktop for example as our folder path and it will be automatically added here. You may also clear using the clear all button and it's gone. So let's create the same folder path again. So post description similar to RSS feed. So you may enter the file name, the file type, the file author, file title, file subject, file creation date, file comments, file tags. Under media, you have the option to configure individual post settings from different networks. Click save when you're done. Here you can write the post title. Let's say happy. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button and select the right file and click open. So let's say happy again. So you may randomly pick title from the list or remove title once used. Enter the source URL and click this box if you want to enable Facebook cell post. When you're done, click save folder path and it will be saved in the folder path details over here. Click this button if you want to edit the folder path details. Click this button if you want to delete the folder path details and it's gone. Now let me show you how to automate advanced Tumblr settings on Socio Publisher. On the edit campaign page, let's select post configuration. So in this section, you will need to set up how and when the tool is going to execute the Socio Publisher actions. So the first configuration is job configuration. So under settings, you can specify the number of posts per day, as well as the start time and end time. So each post will be published to all selected destinations, including groups, pages, or walls. So you can specify the delay between posts. So let's say five to 30 minutes. You may also configure posting interval for each timer or you may also use random publishing time every day. Click this box if you want Sociinator to publish all the selected destinations. You can add delay between publishing multiple posts. So between two numbers in terms of minutes, you may also specify the minimum and maximum number of posts. Click this box if you want to specify the start date of the campaign. So select the start date by clicking the calendar. Let's say February 5, for example. And there's the time as well. You may also specify the end date. So let's say 7. So here you can specify the delay between each destination post. Let's say 10 to 30 seconds. You may also select the days of the week to publish. So if you want to publish every day, then check all of them. Or if you don't want to publish on Tuesday, then uncheck Tuesday. If this option is checked, Sociinator will publish the post from the first selected day. Next, we have other configurations. So under the settings, you can enable signature to add a custom text at the end of your posts. For Reddit users, you may check for the approval of your posts. You may also shorten all the URLs from the post. You can also allow publishing of text posts with links for Pinterest users. And for Instagram users, you can post as part of your story only instead of on the wall. Let's click Advanced Settings. This will open the Campaign Advanced Settings dialog box. Let's click Tumblr. Check the first one to remove tags from your Tumblr post. Check the second one to enable automatic hashtags. You can specify the maximum number of hashtags per post. You also have the option to hash by keyword. Simply type several keywords here, each separated with a comma, and they will all be automatically hashed. You can also hash by minimum word length and replace probability. Finally, check the third box to enable dynamic hashtags. This allows you to add hashtags even if the post already has hashtags. This will depend on your preferred configurations. Specify the minimum and maximum number of hashtags per post. 
Then pick a percentage of the extra hashtags from this list of hashtags that you will type here. Same goes for this part over here. When you're satisfied with these settings, click Save. Now we can select destinations by clicking this button. Let's choose from the destinations that we have created. Let's check the second one. Close it. Then let's click Select Account. Let's check the Tumblr account. We can choose pages and boards by clicking this part over here. We have one. Let's choose it. Then click Save. When you're ready, let's click Save. Then click the Save button over here. Success! Our Tumblr campaign has been successfully created and saved. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.